In this video, I'll show you how to use the competitor tracking portion of our dashboard to offer valuable insight as to what your competitors are up to and how we can gain some further insight into keywords that we may want to consider using. So let's say we've just added the app to the dashboard. You'll want to first go to the competitor analysis section on the left hand column here and go to the competitor tracking subdivision of that. What first comes up is a list of probable competitors. This is everyone within your category. So we can scroll down until we find someone we're interested in. In this case, we'll say Lyft. Here we can begin tracking. And once we've begun, we've begun to track, we can look at competitor insight for that particular app. Here we can see the overall rating of that app their weekly download estimates, as well as their visibility score, which is an aggregate of each keyword that they're using and how visible they are in the App Store as a whole. In addition to that, we can see keywords that they've added since their last update, keywords that have remained unchanged, and keywords that have been removed. Additionally, we can see probable competitors of that competitor. We can also see the keywords that they're currently ranking for, as well as their search score, or how popular that particular keyword is and how often it's searched by users in the App Store, as well as how competitive that is, which is found under iPhone apps, how many other apps are currently using that particular keyword. Um, so we're going to want to strike a balance, of course, between search score and iPhone apps so that we can find something popular but not too competitive. You can find out more about this in our other videos. So let's say that we want to track an additional competitor. We can also search a custom competitor that doesn't exist in our list. Let's say Sidecar in this instance. Search Sidecar and begin tracking. So now we're tracking both Sidecar and Lyft. If we go to Competitor Insight, we can see Lyft. We can also see Sidecar. Now let's say I'm no longer interested in tracking Sidecar. I can delete that app here and go back to my competitor tracking and begin tracking another competitor, someone else within my category. So from here, the options are up to you. And I welcome you to watch more of our videos and find out more about how our dashboard can help you optimize your keywords. Thank you.